everybody, this is Drevi. I'm at Volvo Cars Silver Spring today and I'm here today with a 2022 XC90. I know one of you is going to ask me what color this car is. So this is Thunder Grey and it has a lovely blonde interior. I'm going to teach you all about the four corner air suspension today. Normally suspension and shock absorbers are fixed on the car and you can't really control either the ride height or how uh, stiff the suspension is. But when you have the four corner air suspension, there are air uh, bags underneath each of the, uh, the wheels. And this allows you to inflate and deflate and you can control height as well as the toughness. Normally when you are in automatic mode, as you get faster in the car, it will start dropping down to save fuel, reduce drag and give you better road holding. But you can also manually adjust it when you change your drive modes into off-road mode or eco as an example. Enjoy the video. I'm in the car now and I wanted to just show you what the major controls were for the air suspension. This car has the sensor system. So the first thing you would have to do is swipe in this direction and you have your different drive modes here. When you press this, it allows you to select between off-road, comfort, and dynamic mode as an example. When you do each one of these, it is going to raise the car up and it's going to lower it down. Alrighty, so let's go with off-road mode. And I don't know if you can see, but the car is actually going up. Alrighty, so next thing we're going to do, we are going to go into dynamic, which will take us down all the way down to the bottom. So dynamic, look out there, and I don't know if you can see the car moving down. There we go. It does it very, very softly. And then let's go into Eco and you can see that typically what it do, does in Eco is it'll bring us all the way down to the bottom uh, just to save fuel by Is on the screen there are a couple of other controls that you need to know about the first one is if you pull down your settings menu from the top here and on the left if you hit on my car if you need to switch your air suspension on or off you select parking brake and suspension and then you have disable leveling control if you ever put this car up on jacks you definitely want to switch this off the next thing I want you to know is that uh, mirrors and convenience, if you hit on this button here, you'll see there is a, uh, there is a button there for easy entry and sus uh, suspension control. Now I'm going to put that on and what this will do is when we switch off the car, it will actually start dropping the car down. What will change that is that if we open the door, it will stop the car from dropping any further. If we now close the door one more time, it takes a few seconds and then it will continue to drop the car down. In the back of the car, there are two buttons that you will see here. And these two buttons will allow you to raise and lower the car, uh, which is useful if you're trying to load cargo into it. But it is also useful if you, in case you have the tow hitch, if you're trying to attach the tow hitch, uh, you can raise and lower the car. So let's do this. And if you can hear that, the car is totally dropping down. And you can move it up again. Alrighty, that's how you would do it from the rear of the car. I hope you found this video helpful. If any of you out there are uh, thinking of getting the four corner air suspension on a car you're ordering or purchasing one, 
the moment uh, it's 2022 costs about $1,800 but it really is a great feature uh, it improves the ride quality so much more as well as your handling uh, thank you so much for watching please hit that like button the subscribe button and that share button and uh, keep driving that Volvo thank you